B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. I'm B2B Cambodia's Darshana. Thanks for watching. We're here at Typhex Horik Asia 2024 in Bangkok a three-day trade show tailored for hotels, restaurants, and catering, otherwise known as the Horeca sector, with a focus on sustainability, efficiency, and technological advancements. According to the trade show's organizers, Typhex Horic Asia 2024 attracted nearly 360 exhibitors and close to 16,000 trade attendees. On-the-spot orders placed at the show reportedly amounted to over $10 million, while projections have indicated that trade receipts generated from the show will amount to some $91 million in the upcoming year. Some of the show's main highlights included the Typhex Horic Academy main stage where experts presented on various topics related to the hospitality industry, the ASEAN Barista Team Championship, the Thailand Ultimate Housekeeping Challenge, and live product showcases at the Typhex Horic Experiential Zone. I actually started with Colour Master since 2004. So back then we started Typex Anduga Asia. We actually spent 20 years to grow that show from 4 halls to 11 halls. And now restarting again, you know, building another new show. Uh, from the strength of Typex Anduga, for me, um, to be frank, it's really a lot of satisfaction. Seeing the show growing, you know, in, in that kind of speed, yeah. This partnership exists for more than 20 years. So it started when we um, uh, did Typhix Anuga Asia together, started in mm -hmm. 2004. Yeah. So, and I think the, the beauty about this partnership is that we are all bringing different strengths to the table. Um, so we have uh, the government supporting the local industry. Um, the main goal started you know, to help them to export and to generate business. Um, we are the professional organizers. We have the international network. Um, we, we have the industry knowledge and the TCCS type of commerce representing the, the local industry as well. So I think overall it's, it's, um, it's a very nice um, uh, complementing partnership. Um, what they see here, you know, they can see they can basically get new ideas yeah, and see what the other countries are doing or what are the innovative products and ideas that are available in the market. So that gives them confidence to start you know, embracing changes in their own organizations as well. So we want them to see what are the innovations in the market, what is new, what type of new solutions are there, what type of new equipment is there. And um, that was our whole uh, theme to be, um, yeah, a platform for innovation for new products and we had quite a lot. We also combined the most innovative products in the experiential zone, which is a new concept that is very well received. So yeah, we want them to go home and feel, ah, this is how Horeca can look like in the future. Food service was in Tavis Anuga, but Horeca is so much more than just food service. Yes. So we felt if we take this out, we can immediately add so much more to, to come up with a show like this. Mm. If you would take out seafood, then with just seafood out yeah. and that's it. Yeah? Yeah. But I think Horeca offered the opportunity to really have an um, um, entire new show for for very um, for entire industry like Horeca. No? So it's uh, non-food. Yeah, what is very unique uh, from what we are doing here compared to our competitors, we have a very strong hosted buyer program. I mean, we did start that uh, pre-pandemic, but we basically enhance the entire program uh, after we you know, make a comeback as well. So just looking at Typhax Horeg Asia, this year we actually host 400 host buyers. Yeah, hand-picked. Um, just this show, we have about 391 host buyers that is hand-picked by us, invited by us uh, to come and visit the show. And what we also did on the technology side, we actually do a um, AI matching free event. So it saves them a bit of time, I would say, because uh, pre-show, they basically can browse all the suppliers. They can look at all the products that are available. And when they go on the platform, the platform actually pre match for them. So it will actually recommend a list of suppliers that would be relevant for their business and their sourcing needs. Our main focus is really Thailand and Indo China. So all our supporting program, including hosted buyer program, we actually pay more attention in inviting buyers from Vietnam, Cambodia, for example, and Laos. Uh, I would say that most of the buyer, if there is a good show in Thailand, they would rather come here because it's much closer for them. It's more cost effective for them to visit as well, rather than going to another destination within a Southeast Asia. 
So for us, that is also the best bet, you know, to, to basically get the people coming. And those countries are fast growing at the moment. So the next step is to internationalize it more, um, bring more suppliers in, but also bring more visitors in. Um, so we have good cooperations with Vietnam, with Cambodia, um, yeah. and they see Bangkok as a as a business hub as well. No? So for for them to establish this show as the platform as well, and and of course beyond that, we also want to grow in quantity. No? Yes. I mean, uh, I think there's a lot of room for expansion now, and uh, we have definitely plans to do that to do so. You've been with B2B Cambodia. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we continue to bring you more news, updates, and developments for the business community in the Kingdom of Cambodia.